Well, hello everyone. Welcome to a new video, another planty video. It is me, Desiree. I know I'm cut off a little bit, but I mostly want to show you what I'm doing today. So I kind of angled the camera down a little bit. I have three plants that I want to kind of give a little facelift to. I have one I want to repot just because I'm kind of sick of the pot that it's in and I'll show you why. I have a curly lipstick plant that is not looking too good. I'm going to kind of clean it all up. If I feel like I want to take it apart and put it in a new pot, I'm going to, but I'm not sure yet. And then I have a Hoya Curtisii that just looks like garbage. And I want to, I think I'm going to end up propagating the whole entire plant. So I got two little containers of sphagnum moss here. So first off, I'm going to start with this one. This is a philodendron golden dragon. Isn't it just beautiful? I love this plant so much. Um, let me take off the Velcro here. I did buy this as a one leaf cutting. It was just the one big leaf, but it has started growing other little babies. So it has three leaves. There's one there, one there right here. Uh, but I mostly want to change this out because look how ugly this looks on top. It's in a really nice like glazed pot, but I put these white rocks on top because it looked really cool at first, but over time, they've just gotten really stained with the water that I'm using and just mixing with the soil looking really ugly. So I want to take this out and put it in a little terracotta pot and kind of give it a new home, give it a little facelift. I also really need to clean these leaves and it needs a watering. So I'm not going to clean the leaves on camera. I'll do that when I take it to water. But first, let's just dump this out because I'm not going to try to save these leaves. Also, I'm in my pajama pants. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to save the rocks. I said I was going to save the leaves. Let's just try to pull the whole thing out. Well, I sprinkled off the leaves. Oh, this is like super stuck in here. In the perfect shape of a square. Let me try to loosen it from the corners. Ooh, I cracked a piece of the stick. Shoot. Lift it out really gently. And the roots fit, like this was a perfect pot for this plant when I first got it because the roots were so small. Like this pot was almost too big. Um, but wow, it's grown a lot of roots. Look at that, that's awesome. I mean, they're in the perfect shape of a square. I'm just gonna reuse that soil. Let's get off these rocks. Oh my gosh, how funny is this? <laughs> it looks like, I don't know, it just looks funny growing in a square, I think. Um, okay, I'm gonna try to just loosen them a little bit so they fit in a circle. But I don't usually kind of like move off all the soil and really get the roots all loose. I feel like that, I don't know, I never have a good experience with that. I feel like the plant just freaks out. And I just, uh, yeah, I've kind of learned my lesson with that. Let's put a little bit more soil here. Okay. I did mix up some soil outside. I did, like, just whatever was left of my houseplant mix. And then I mixed in some orchid mix. And then I put in, like, these little perlite things. I don't feel like perlite helps with drainage. For some reason, I feel like it holds on to water a lot. And plants that I give too much perlite to get root rot. I don't know if that's just me or if I've misinterpreted what perlite's supposed to do. But I always thought it helped with drainage. But I feel like it holds on to water a lot. Let me know. Am I crazy? Did I misinterpret it? I'm also new. I don't know what I'm doing. settle it a little bit. I usually kind of like, I usually like hit it like this or I slam it on the ground a little bit to kind of settle. You know like when you're making a cake, you gotta flatten, like make sure it's all nice and even. That looks so much better. It looks like such a bigger plant now. Uh, it does need a little bit of support just because these new leaves are, I don't know, kind of long and flimsy, so I'm just going to put this stick back in here, although I accidentally broke off the pointy part. I'm going to put it... Okay, 
Let's just tie them up a little bit. Really gently with a little piece of Velcro. Perfect. That looks so much better. So much better. I'll show the, the, the plants like in a better way when I'm completely done. But oh my gosh, that looks a million, a million times better. It does need water, so I'm going to take it to get some water here in when I'm done. Awesome. That was the easy one. That was the easy one. So the second plant I want to give a little facelift to is this. <laughs> this is a, a curly lipstick plant. I got this at Lowe's. It was Costa Farms. And I don't know what it is, but Costa Farms hanging baskets have been, they're not doing that well lately. Um, I find every time I've bought one recently, they end up looking like this shortly afterwards. Like I have another one I'm going to work on here in a little bit that looks horrendous. Um, I did buy one yesterday. I found a variegated lipstick plant in a hanging basket and every single leaf looked awesome. So I picked that one up. So I'm hoping it doesn't start looking like this. This one does need to be watered, but I waited because I knew I was going to do this. Um, there's a lot of dead stuff in here. I want to pull all of this out. And if I feel like taking it apart, because it's like not enough plant for how big it is, I got another pot here. But I'm going to kind of just start pulling out all this dead stuff. And I have a couple of other lipstick plants that I bought from Costa Farms. Um, I have the, no, no, I have the Black Pagoda lipstick plant, but that's not from Costa. It was from Live Trends, I think. I love it. It's definitely one of my favorite plants I've ever purchased. Beautiful, easy, super low maintenance. And I kind of thought that's how all lipstick plants were going to be, but it, that's not been the case. They've all been a little bit tricky. I mean, they could the hell, they just like dry up like that. I have a trash can right here in case you were wondering where I'm throwing all of this. I have a couple of succulent baskets. I actually have three of them that I bought this past summer that I've been taking cuttings from and trying to experiment with succulent arrangements because I got really into succulents last year. Um, and I kind of want to take them all apart. They're looking kind of sad. Some of the plants in them aren't doing that well. And I think I want to do it on a video, like just deconstructing it. Because one of my favorite videos on YouTube is from Garden Answer. And it's called Deconstructing a Succulent Arrangement. And it's really long. I don't think there's any edits in it at all. And it's one of my favorite... Oh my god, I cut my finger. Oh, I nipped it, but it didn't cut. Oh my gosh, I'm not paying attention. Um, it's one of my favorite videos. There's just something so fun about it, watching her take apart this entire succulent arrangement that she made. It's like this long. And she took it all apart, potted up all the plants in their own little planters. And I love that a video so much. I want to make my own version. And I think I'll do that. I'll kind of figure out how to configure the camera and stuff. But let me know if you like the way this looks, because this is probably the same setup I'll use for that video. But the reason I hadn't taken that one apart yet is because in the basket, it's three, just three baskets. I have to worry about three little pots. But once I take it apart, there's going to be 10 pots, you know, because all the plants are going to be separated or I'll, I'll figure out what I do with them. But, you know, I don't know if I'm going to repot this. This actually looks, I mean, it's a little bald and crusty. Lots of dead leaves on the top. I mean, that looks okay, right? I mean, looking at it from my point of view, it looks um, bald, but it is a hanging basket. I have it hanging from the ceiling and the little hanger thing. So it doesn't look too bad, but you know what? That made a big difference. I think I'm going to keep it like this. I also have no idea how to propagate a lipstick plant. If you know, let me know, because there are some things in here. I would like to kind of pop back in here and make a fuller little plant, but this looks okay. I mean, I think it's... A little bald, but it looks a lot better than it did. What do you think? Should I take this apart and put it in a smaller planter? Or just kind of keep it like this? Let me know. Let me know what you think. I think it looks good. It looks a lot better anyway. And I... I don't know. That looks good. I was actually going to like take apart the whole entire thing and replant it. But I think just cleaning it up made a really big difference. Okay, I'm happy with that. Okay, let's get out the, uh, the most challenging one. This one is also a hanging basket. A little ASMR for you. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, this is a very healthy and beautiful, as you can clearly see, Hoya Curtisii. Um, and it's not doing well. I have no idea what happened to it or why it looks like this or why it started getting so crusty. I feel like I was keeping on top of the watering. I never let it go too long. I was treating it the same way I do all my other Hoyas and for some reason this one just did not, did not do well. It's completely dried up like crunchy crusty leaves just fall off all the time and I yeah I don't know I thought I might be able to salvage this like maybe take the strands out and pot them into a different uh, pot. Maybe I might do that with some of these, but I feel like most of these I'm gonna put in some moss and try to propagate them. I've never had success propagating a Hoya Curtisii in water. They've always just rotted because I was trying to take cuttings of this to save it, but they all just rot. So I'm gonna experiment with the sphagnum moss. I mean, even if that doesn't work, I mean, what are you gonna do? This whole plant is kind of on its way out. So Hoya Curtisii is so beautiful. Let me just take one of these cuttings here to show you up close. It's shaped kind of like a spade. I mean, this looks very similar to string of spades or string of arrows. So if you have one of those, you just kind of like the look of this, you probably don't need this, but us plant lovers, we gotta have them all, even though they look exactly the same. Um, this one looks really awesome and it grows a ton of aerial roots. I feel like this one is a plant that would grow and like cover a wall, grow all up the side of like trunks of trees because all these little roots kind of just lead me to believe that. I'm gonna kind of just cut this up like this and just put it in the moss with the roots kind of touching the moss. I'm gonna cover this and see if maybe those roots will start growing and get into the moss and maybe I can make me a new plant. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if that's gonna be successful or not. So I'm gonna try to just clean up all of these dead pieces here. And I don't know. I'm just trying to cut it all off if I can. Um, I haven't really had a lot of success, like I was saying, with Costa Farms um, hanging baskets. Most hanging basket Hoyas that I've bought from there, actually all of them, I don't think any of them have ever done well, especially Hoyas. I've had the Hoya uh, Lacunosa, that one I recently just threw away, it was only two strands left. I've had multiples of Hoya um, uh, Crimson Princess and Crimson Queen. Those are no longer with us. <laughs> um, what else have I had? Billabata. Actually, you know what? Billabata is doing really good. That one I have in the living room. And that one, for some reason, I mean, a lot of it did die, but it's still doing well. It's a full basket still. So that one's doing okay. This one, though, I don't know. It was doing really well for a while. But if you have a Curtisii that's thriving, let me know what you're doing because obviously what I'm doing is not working. Let's see if there's anything worth salvaging from these strands here. I mean, they look good, but they're very yellow. Like they're yellowing a lot on the end, so I know it's probably not gonna live. So I'm just gonna kind of toss this. Does that one have any good ones? No. Also, I think everybody has these same scissors. Every time I see a plant video online, it's the same Fiskars scissors. And I've been wanting to get some different ones because I'm like, I just don't like this orange and black look um but i don't really know where to get any and i already have these they work i don't really need another pair okay that one might be salvageable there same thing though they're kind of yellow and wrinkled i don't know if they're really gonna live but let's give it a shot see like there's this one here that has yellow leaves on one side like some of them are doing okay i'm not gonna save that this little vine here seems good though. If this whole vine is good, I might take this whole thing out and plant it. But also I've never had good experience re-planting uh, or repotting Hoya before. They kinda, they don't like me when I do that. Oh my gosh, there's not really a much I'm gonna be able to save from this thing. I thought there was gonna be a lot more. So I brought two, ba two things of, ma of moss, okay. Okay, this side looks okay. Like, this side has a lot of green on it. I'm gonna see if any of this would be salvageable. I'm gonna try to take some of it out to plant because I kind of want to have a whole plant, but most of this is just dead. 
and I let it get this bad because I completely forgot about it actually because it had been doing so well um, that I didn't really have to keep checking on it. But what I'm kind of starting to think is that this this basket with this soil is too maybe too dense like maybe it's holding on to too much water and that the plant is just getting too much water and that it's just kind of dying um but then you take the chance on repotting it and it's going to die anyway because it'll freak out on you so i decided to keep this in the basket because i haven't had a good experience repotting any of them before so i thought you know what maybe i'll just keep it in there and i bet it'll do well um and it did not do well that one looks okay. I mean, kinda. I'll just put it in there. I don't even know if this is gonna work or if this is how you do it, the, the propagating in moss, but we're gonna give it a shot. This one looks okay and every single leaf has a little aerial root can you see them uh, every single one that's kind of why I'm thinking it crawls up the side of buildings and uh, that would be so cool to have a plant like this covering up your wall or your brick wall or something I've always uh, really liked those houses I think a lot of us do that have ivy growing all over them but now I think oh my god I bet they have spider mites all over that just growing on the side of their house or black widows or all kinds of pests hiding in there. That's what I think of now. It looks cool and looked romantic from afar, but up close, it's a full on Monet. Mm, nothing there. Well, it looked like there was a lot salvageable here, but I don't really see much now that I'm looking up close. Most of it's kind of super yellow already or just, I don't know. We'll save that piece. Ooh, that one looks, that one looks good. That one looks good too. I'm gonna save that. All right, this is what we have left. This little piece here. This whole side looks good. I wanna see if I can find, like isolate those stems and see if I can just unpot them and keep them. Or try to keep them. I, I don't think it's gonna work, but why not? Ooh. Okay, that strand looks good. Where can I find the base at? Okay, it's connected to this one, but there's a bunch of yellowing leaves on it. I don't know if that's indication that the whole thing's not gonna do well, I don't know. Just pull them off. Okay, I found a good one and I'm gonna kinda just pull out this whole middle chunk here and see if it's connected to any of these. Okay, well, I pulled out that whole piece, all of the pieces that I thought would be good for salvaging. Um, like I said, it probably won't transplant that well. But, I don't know, the roots look good. Do I chance it? I mean, I already pulled it out, what are you gonna do? You know what, I'm gonna chance it. I'm going to put some soil in here real quick and I'm gonna, pop, I'm gonna plant this in there and we'll see if it 
We'll just see. Let me see if I can get this chunk out too. Okay, this one I'm just gonna cut up and propagate. It doesn't, I mean, it looks good. There's some good strands here, but I can't, like, I don't know. It's just a little too tangled. And like this one's broken. And then these are super dried up near here. So I feel like eventually the, all the leaves are gonna turn yellow. So let me cut this one up real quick. And speaking of propagating and like cleaning up my succulent baskets, I saw a lady on Instagram, I think her thing's called like one too many succulents or something like that, or I'm making it up, I don't know. She was propagating some succulents. I'll put it here on the screen. She just like pierced all the, the little leaves and lined them all up on a string. And I thought that was so awesome. I've never seen anybody do that. And I thought, oh my God, I immediately have to go destroy some of my succulents so I could do that. It looked so cool. And it saved a lot of space too. Because normally you'd have to have them like laid out in a tray or something like that. And uh, it looked awesome the way she did it. Really, really cool idea. That's what I'm saving in moss. Um, looks kind of cool, but I don't know. I'm going to cover them up. This one has a lid. This one, I think I have the lid for that one too. If not, I'll just put like saran wrap or something on them and just kind of keep them moist. I'm going to kind of make sure they're all kind of pressed into the moss. That way the roots... Maybe we'll have a chance, but yeah, that's that's what I'm propagating from the Cortisii. That's what's left. Okay, and now for this little plant, I'm gonna grab some soil, pour it in here, and we'll kind of just see if this, if I can salvage this whole little piece as its own little plant. But I don't have high hopes just because of the, the Hoyas always just don't work for me when I transplant them. But I have some soil here. little dusty. And now that I'm doing this, I'm being reminded of uh, people I see online do like repotting a rotten whatever, repotting my root rot plant. And they cut it up, they put new soil, they put it in a pot, and then it looks like this. They're like, all done. Like, look, that looks great. This looks like a beautiful, healthy, thriving plant. But I want to see them checking in. Like, let me see that plant a month later. Did it live? Because you're kind of making people think that they can save every rotten plant by just repotting it, you know? Um, I want to see what it what happened to it. I want to see the outcome. <sighs> Wish me luck on this one. Send me all your good vibes. Anyway, that looks good. That looks really good, actually. Um, yeah. <laughs> looks really good. I don't know how it's going to thrive, though. Okay, let me clean up my mess and let me show you how all the plants came out. Okay, I think I put it crooked, but it's fine. It's just the outro. So this is the Golden Dragon. This looks so much better. Like, I can hardly believe that's the same plant. It just looks so much bigger and better. It'll have more room for its roots to just grow. And uh, it's already growing another leaf here, too. So very excited about that. It definitely needs water. So I'm going to go water that here in a sec. These are what are remaining of the Corticii. We'll see. I've never propagated like this before, uh, at least a plant like this. So we'll see if it works. The uh, rest of the Curtisia I tried to salvage is in here. And then this is the uh, curly lipstick plant. Actually, you know what? It looks pretty good. I mean, it's kind of empty and bald, but 
it looks good. It looks a thousand times better than it did. Definitely needs some water. I'm gonna go water it now, but you know, it looks okay. And from far away, it kind of looks like a Hoya curl. What's that one? The twisty one. What is it? The compacta. It kind of looks like that one, doesn't it, from far away? Anyway, that is it. Thank you so much for joining me and watching me make a mess. Let me know what you think of the angle because I want to do the same thing for my um, my succulent basket at destruction. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments as always. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss my next one. And I will see you later in another video. Goodbye.